Hello everyone, I'm back. This time we're going to learn how to access the activities on your Google Classroom. But before that, let's review how to join a class. Again, you have to click this plus sign on the upper right part of your window and then click join class. You have to key in the class code that your teacher gave you and then click join. Right, once you have done that, then you will already be part of the classroom. So you would see stream, classwork, and people. Okay. Now, if you click classwork here, you would see all the things that your teacher posted. So this one would mean materials. That means like a PowerPoint or lecture videos. And then if you see something like this, this would be for quizzes and assignment. And you would also see when these were posted. And then if it is something like this, due on September 2nd, 8.30 a.m., then this would be an activity with a deadline. So you would know when you're supposed to submit your work. Let's start with this one. So this is a material, Lesson 1, The Nature and Elements of Communication. If you want to see what's inside, then you just have to click it there and then click View Material. So once you click this, in this material, the, the teacher uploaded a PowerPoint uh, file, a PPT. So for you to see this, you just have to click it. And then you'd be able to view what's in there. So oral com, nature, and then the content like this. So you just have to, when you, your teacher posts something like this, you just have to read. If you have any questions, then you just post it on your Google Classroom. Once you're done studying, then you can go back and it's there. So if you have any questions, you just leave a message here. Okay, got it. Like, teacher, what does I? What question can we post? I let's say I didn't understand the content of slide number five. Say for example, it's like this, and then we just post it. So when you have any questions about your lesson, then you just have to post it on Google Classroom. Okay, so everybody can see. Now, let's go back to the stream page and then classwork. The second one that you can find is this, the lecture video. So if it is a lecture video, again, you just click view material and then you'll be on this page. If there is a video link, all you have to do is to click that and you'll be able to watch the video. Okay, so just like this. When you're done watching, then you just go back and that's it. If you have any questions, then you also post your question in here. Question like this. All right. Another content that you can expect from your Google Classroom would be quiz or assignment. So here, the icon is like this. It says quiz lesson one. So you click this and then you view your assignment. The content or the attachment can be Google Forms, can be Google Docs, or probably Google Sheet. But in this example, we have Google Forms. So you just have to click that. And then you will be redirected to the quiz itself. So if it requires you to put the email address, then you put your email address. And then you just start answering the quiz. If it is a short answer, then you just type your answer, answer like this. Of course, you have to read the questions, but this is just example. So if it is a short, this is this type of question is like a true or false question or multiple choice. And then if it is like this, then you are required to put a short answer. 
One thing that you have to remember is that it is case sensitive. So if your teacher says you have to use all capital letters, then you have to use capital letters. If not, then most probably your teacher has uh, made an adjustment on the answer key. But in any case, this one, it says which of the following are the elements of the message based on Berlus SMC, our model of communication. It says choose five. So this is just an example. Just let's say we choose five. And then um, answer this one. Answer if the if the teacher said it as a required question, then you will not be able to submit it unless you have answered all the questions. Okay, uh, so we're just answering this without reading because this is just an example. Of course, if you're taking the quiz, you have to make sure your answers are right. So once you're done, say for example, we didn't answer this. Um, let's skip one number and see what's going to happen. Say for example, you didn't answer one question and you try to click submit. Then it will bring you back to that question because that is a required question. But if you put an answer there and then we click submit, then it's done. So that's how you answer the quiz on Google Forms. So you can view your score. Let's see. Ta-da! And then it will show you the right, the correct answers, your errors, your score. So it's going to be like that. So you can see what mistakes you got. And then you can see your score, 4 over 20. Oh, this is bad. Well, anyway, that's only for sample purposes. Okay? So I hope you understand how um we do this quiz on google um google forms so as you can see in here before there was a button for submit but we already submitted our quiz on google Forms, so it's already changed to that um, format if you have any questions you can leave a message teacher i think the answer i think the answer on Question number two is wrong. Number number two is wrong, like this. And then your, your teacher can just reply. Okay? All right, that's it. So if you go back, and you'll be on the stream page of your demo class. Thank you. If you have any questions or if you have any requests on how to use the Google Classroom, you can comment in, the, in this video. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.